Chapter 1. I am the Christ. Who do men say I am? Thou art the Christ, Son of the living God. Matthew 16 and 16. The conscious universe. Understanding the conscious world that we live in has been a great mystery for ages. But very few men throughout time understood the profound knowledge of the human conscience and they taught it to others. They understood that the divine creator of our world is God. But these men believe and taught others that God not only dwelled throughout the universe, but that God also dwelled primarily within the human conscience. By divine intuition, these enlightened men share a concept of God that is radically different than what has been commonly shared about God. And so, since the beginning of time, mankind has believed in an all-creative force that have created everything within our universe and is believed to still be creating our world today. We have all given this great entity many names. God, Source, The Field, Divinity, The All in All, Universal Consciousness, and so on. Although we have not come into a universal agreement of a proper title, we all know God exists. The term universal consciousness is the all creative life force which has existed throughout the time and is very present today. Science, religion, and all other schools of thought have recognized this conscious creative power and have declared this power in many ways with many different terms and concepts. I believe, because of the many confusing terms and the mixed intentions, humanity may never agree upon complex issues such as the concept of God. I further believe there have been few men who have come into a knowledge of a universal concept of God and his presence within humanity as the human imagination. And by their own imagination, these enlightened men seen themselves as chosen sons of God called for a divine purpose. I have selected a few scriptures to support my text, which we'll review shortly. In the first part of this text, I make the theoretical assertion that the human imagination is the indwelling Godhead, the divine creator physically creating in the world today. Bishop Carlton Pearson expounds, God dwells with us, around us, in us, as us. The Holy Scriptures reveal the great mystery of consciousness as an allegory, but you have to renew your mind, your way of thinking about the Scriptures to receive this revelation. It is important to know that the scribes and the authors who actually wrote the Scriptures believe that one's own human imagination is one's own relationship with God. Therefore, when inspired by Scripture, the human imagination that is awakened or enlightened is a chosen one. This enlightened individual is a called out one or a messiah. Practically speaking, your own human imagination is the body of Jesus Christ.